As items are scanned, a deposit item list page containing the scanned items will appear on screen. The deposit item list page contains two sections, the deposit information section and the scanned items section. The deposit information section contains summary information about the deposit, including the deposit's current state, the declared amount, which is the amount entered when the deposit was created, the current amount, which is the total amount of the items read by the application, and the balancing difference, which is the difference between the declared and current amounts. A balancing difference of zero in green indicates the deposit is balanced, though there may be additional error items that require your attention. A balancing difference in red indicates the deposit is out of balance. An amount in parentheses indicates the amount entered was less than the total amount of each item that was recognized by the application during scanning. An amount without parentheses indicates that the amount entered was more than the amounts recognized by the application. The scanned items section contains detailed information about the items in the deposit. The errors column indicates if there's a problem with an item that requires correction. If there's a detected error, a warning icon will be present and the item will be highlighted in red. The task column consists of actions that can be performed on an item. The actions available will differ based on your assigned role and the deposit's current processing state. The item type column is the item description assigned based on the recognized microinformation. The first item in the column is always the system created virtual deposit slip. The post amount column contains the amount recognized for each item in the deposit. The sequence number column displays the number each item was assigned as it appears in the deposit. The account and routing transit columns are comprised of information read from the item's microline. The data presented can be modified by clicking the magnifying glass icons and entering filters, or sorted by clicking the column headers. The deposit item list page also contains various buttons that will vary based on your role in the deposit's current state. These buttons and their functions will be covered in the applicable chapters of this training video.